Hello everyone, welcome to Canteen Cup. My name is Scott. Nice uh, chilly Friday out here walking along the land I had cleared a couple weeks back. This is the first time and it seems like forever I've been able to actually walk back here. We've had so much rain. I was talking to a guy today and he was saying that this may be the wettest February in history, which we've had a lot of rain and there's things I need to do with my property and just uh, getting there from here is just taking a long time. One of the things I was trying to do over the past couple weeks is trying to see if I can find somebody that would pick up some of this these trees I have you can look behind me you can see I've got lots of pine stacked I've got several piles of it and I was trying to see if I can get somebody just to kind of come in and take it I mean I'm not even trying to sell it but just trying to take it and uh, I've had no takers I think right now there's just uh with so much building going on and so much clearing for houses in the neighboring counties that they have more wood than what they need and so it's just not cost effective to come out here and uh, take some of these trees. These trees aren't quite big enough for lumber. They're, they're good for pulp and that's about it. So I have I have some options. Uh, you know, One is of course I can burn this stuff and you know, when you when you have this much lumber, burning it can take a really long time. And it is it is a little bit labor intensive. You have to kind of keep after it as it burns. And so in talking to the last guy that came out and looked at my property, he, I asked him, I said, well, if I, if I cut it to size, I said, would you haul it off then? He said he might do that, and uh, you know that may be that may be a good a good thing because it'd probably take either as much time or less time for me to cut it up and stack it somewhere where he can just come and get it versus me trying to burn this. I mean, I have a lot of trees here, and uh, I need to get rid of them before you know disease and whatever rolls in. So I have to. I've got I've got work to do. I think if you notice while I'm walking around here too that some of my winter rye is taking root. I'm glad for that. It's kind of trying to hold the soil a little bit. And then once it gets warmer, I'll come back through and I'll plant something else, probably uh maybe a clover or a fescue or something. The problem with when you have a lot of pine trees, and that's what this mostly was, was pine, is it makes the soil acidic. And it makes it hard to grow anything else. And so what you have to do is you have to come back in and plant some plants that they call um, nitrogen fixers something like clover or comfrey or fescue things that'll help put nitrogen back into the soil and help balance it out plus you know you create a mulch and and what i'll do is i'll take either either one type of plant or some combination and then come back through and plant it and then let it grow and then cut it but not collect it but just keep cutting it and let that mulch and what that'll eventually do in a couple of years is it'll give me a little more topsoil and then I'll be able to plant other things that I want to plant. I still have a lot of work to do and this is this is part of the homesteading process. I got a lot of I have some topsoil here but it's not the best. And so it's it's just a lot of work, a lot of things you have to consider. And so me and my tractor, my chainsaw will be out here uh, maybe, yeah, maybe tomorrow. 
if, if the weather if the weather holds I could, I could maybe start on this tomorrow and then I can work on other things so not much else going on you know the coronavirus is still the big thing people are talking about it I think we're about as prepared as we're gonna get and we, we did buy a couple extra little things here and there but not um, not a whole lot uh, I think our risk especially out where I live is still pretty low uh, however one of the things that we are doing is uh, we are diffusing some essential oils in our homes that are known to have antiviral properties and every day I'm running a diffuser I think today I'm running a, a product by a company called Butterfly Express called Deliverance and that's a blend kind of based on what they call thieves oil which is supposed to be an antiviral and that'll help you know keep my air purified which hopefully will help keep us a little healthier so we're doing that and again um, you know not contacting as many people keeping our fingers out of our eyes nose and mouth washing our hands but not getting overly concerned everything else we have is still pretty you know pretty well taken care of we have food we have water you know we are we are prepared for you know social distancing or social isolation if need be I don't think it'll come to that but that's it um, other news is uh, we have started up the Viking radio network for those that don't know about that that's the Viking preparedness channel with Pastor Joe Fox we now have a radio network and what we're trying to do with that is connect ham radio operators with Viking preparedness groups so that if things really do degrade to where normal communications are interfered with the various Viking groups will still be able to contact one another via amateur radio for those out there interested if you are a group contact your Viking preparedness coordinator for your area if you're an amateur radio operator you can send me an email at maven hyphen one and one is spelled out o-n-e at outlook.com and I'll post it up yonder somewhere and uh, it's not really a training group but it's a coordination group so if you're interested shoot me an email and uh, we'll see we'll see what we can see so that's it it's chilly today it's supposed to be cold tonight I think it's supposed to rain again <laughs> Monday and Tuesday I don't ever remember seeing this much rain over as short a period of time as I've seen this last month or so so maybe maybe I can get some work done and I can't push it off too long because boy once it starts getting warm then it gets really you know difficult to work so just checking in today hope everybody's doing well hope everybody's living the dream and loving life so you all take care stay safe and stay secure